My name is Sean Chin, and I like to play in trash. When I was younger, in my early teens, I used to go to shows at this house called the FSU Garage in Cedar Falls, and they would always dumpster dive like bread, like Subway bread and chips from Frito-Lay. And it sort of like opened up the world, me to the world that uh, there are all these things and dumpsters that people throw away that are perfectly good. You sort of hear about people like in other towns, like sometimes through like, I think it's like predominantly through the music scene is like the way that I've become connected. And then like there's like another, you just hear about like people that also dumpster dive. So, yeah, I've made friends where it's like, oh, like, if you're in Des Moines, like, you should call this guy and he'll tell you where to go. Like, he should, he'll tell you where the grocery store is that, like, doesn't have a lock or, like, tends to have good dumpsters or things like that. But there's sort of, like, a, like, a, like, folklore about dumpsters. Like, you can, like, hear about dumpsters. Like, there are certain pizza places that will throw out the pizzas at the end of the night and, like, put them in a box so you don't need, like, they're not even intermingled with other trash. So you sort of just, like, acquire this like folklore, um, like vegetables that you can get from grocery stores sometimes. There tends to be, it tends to be the case that if you find like something, it's like a pretty decent sized bounty. And like, I'm vegan, so I don't eat cheese or uh, meat or anything like that. But I found all these pizzas and it's like just a shame to like leave them in the dumpster when all I have to do is like hoist them out and like carry them to someone's house or something. And like, if they want some pizza, then I can just give it to my friends or, you know, you find a, uh, couch or something like that and then like if someone else is in need you just kind of pay it forward since there's like all these good things in in like dumpsters or like the people leave on the side of the roads and i just um ever since i was growing up i feel like it's almost it's been ingrained in me not to like waste things like my parents when i was eating like would always say like you know like you can always go back for seconds but don't take like too much that you can't eat it because then you'd have to like throw it away and it's like a shame to like waste food or like anything for the most part I found, I found two bikes in a dumpster once. I rode one of them for a while, but then I came into another bike or somehow I had another bike, so I just like passed it off to one of my friends. I found a pair of snow boots in a dumpster that were perfectly good that I just, I think that they were returned or someone traded them into the shop and they couldn't resell them. I biked them down to the crisis center and gave them to the crisis center. I know that's a great place and they just help everybody out like indiscriminately. So. When I like pass them along, I try to like give them to another outlet, or, like just like to, like, yeah, give them to either someone that use them or to a place that would disperse it to someone that use it because, um, I don't know, I, I sort of really enjoy the idea of making as small of an impact as possible. I live in a, like a small, th probably three by ten foot closet at my friend's, um, Andrea's apartment. Even having the closet is sort of like a lot of space for me and I don't really know what to do with it and I get sort of like anxious about having so much space because you know, you have these things and you try to fill the space but then you try to keep it in check. I know that like there's a lot of inherent flaws in like recycling and things like that and that it doesn't actually, it's not like you can have a completely great, like clean conscious because I mean you have to still burn there's still like tons of resources that go into like recycling materials and it's like probably slightly, I'm sure it's like greener than like just throwing it away and not reusing it. But also I think that sort of gets glorified and like people like wash their hands clean of it like as soon as they recycle it. But so I try to like find like an outlet. Like I enjoy like reusing things like the peanut butter jar, you know, like when you're done with the peanut butter, like you can use that little jar for things. You can put like screws in it around the house or you can use it for like a Rubbermaid. I have found so many useful things in dumpsters, like on the sides of the road. I found the desk in my room by the side of the road. Someone threw away this space heater. I found this case in a dumpster. I found this blanket. I found this case on the side of the road. Oh, I actually found two coats too, but one was a leather jacket that had like fringe on it and in the pocket, was a crack pipe, but just throw that away. It's like a ongoing thing, you know, like you acquire the folklore about like dumpsters in the same way you like slowly just become more used to like living in a certain way, like making less of an impact or like reusing things. This one you could like dye clothes in or like any number of things if you needed like a really absurdly large stock pot sort of thing. 
dumpsters are sort of see i talk about them like they're like it's a beautiful place full of free things and there's just food just laying around <laughs> but really like i have a really high tolerance for things that other people deem gross i'm not like grossed out by things like dumpsters have like pretty much all dumpsters um with rain and things there's like a certain smell and like a juice or like slime that like coats the bottom of dumpsters that like is like very distinct and it's like pervasive like it's in all dumpsters for the most part you have to like really root around like even though they throw away all the bread in one bag you just can't like see through it because they're not like translucent or they're not transparent or translucent bags so you're like ripping through like coffee grounds and people's old food so it's sort of like, I mean, I kind of gloss over it, but it's kind of, I mean, it is a dumpster and there's like people's trash. My trash can, I just dumped like coffee grounds into it. You have to be careful. Like there are like, like people throw away just like broken glass or just like bottles and then things that could break. Um, there's this, certainly social stigma attached through going through um, other people's, people's once belongings or whatever, like their trash. Uh, but being as like, I'm sort of in like a privileged position because I'm like a young white male and I like going through people's trash. And so people just probably think like, oh, punk kids or whatever. So like there is a certain amount of social stigma, but I'm also sort of exempted from it to a certain regard uh, because of like my age and social status. But yeah, predominantly you'd want to go at night so that you can avoid any sort of hassle of doing it during the daylight hours. Like if people would give you a hard time. I've encountered people before while dumpster diving and it's been sort of like, a, they're just like surprised like initially, but then like they don't mind. Like if you're like completely in the dumpster, they just like see you and then they're surprised, but they don't say anything. They're not uh, rude or anything. I've never had any run-ins with the police or anything like that, or like any um, business owners or anything. Uh, Iowa City is also sort of like a liberal place. And then we have like a, for the population, we have a decent sized like homeless or whatever you want to call it population. I don't know, like if you're like real, I don't know, I try to be like upbeat about it and like make it seem more socially acceptable and like not have it be something stigmatized. And then so like when I talk to people about it, like also like when I try to like give it out to other people to show them that it's okay. And then it sort of like, will try to like at least open, not necessarily open the door to dumpster diving, but just like sort of like open the dialogue and like have people question like, how long food is good for and like what spoilage actually means um and then also like about the things that people throw away like oh you found that or, like oh i like your bag where'd you get it and it's like oh i found it in a dumpster and it's like really and then it sort of gets to gets them like questioning things like maybe a little bit more than they had been before Garbage juice. <laughs> 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 